Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and happy holidays. The day that this is going live, we are officially a week from Christmas. How are you guys doing? How do you feel? Are you done? Are you prepared? I'm not, I think this is probably the first year in like many, many years that I'm like still not done with Christmas shopping. I haven't wrapped a single gift and I literally don't even know what's going on on Christmas day. Like I'm not 100% sure of our actual Christmas plans. I think that's probably how a lot of people feel right now with COVID and, and just trying to stay safe and, and healthy. And so there's just a lot of things up in the air and I'm not exactly sure what's going on for the holidays. All I know is that I'm not ready for them. Back when I used to have a fashion vlog, I used to do holiday gift guides every year for like all different kinds of people, for like the man in your life, for like your girlfriend that loves the kitchen, like all the things, right? Um, and it's funny now that I don't have a blog I still think about that every year during the holiday season I'm like I should do a gift guide so I thought maybe I'll do a gift guide for like kids Josiah's age and then I was like girl who are you guiding you don't even know what you're getting your nine-month-old son for Christmas you are in no position to guide anybody you need to be guided um, and I watched a couple of gift guides to try to get ideas but I still just like really struggled with trying to figure out what to get Josiah for Christmas because I just feel like I don't know I feel like he's just kind of getting to an age where he's playing with toys but he doesn't really know how to play exactly with toys yet like he's still learning um, especially like, like trucks he's okay with he can kind of do the back and forth thing but like other things he kind of gets confused about he just kind of sticks them in his mouth um, <laughs> and but I feel like also he's gonna learn really really fast and like outgrow toys that are like super babyish really quickly I don't know why I feel that way I just feel like he's really smart and I feel like once he really does get the hang of it he's gonna be like on to the next thing pretty quickly so I don't know so I struggled a little bit and then I realized like you're probably just overthinking this Lorient. he has no idea what Christmas is he doesn't really get it he's not gonna understand the opening process and he's just gonna like think it's cool to have a bunch of like new stuff for like five minutes and then he's gonna be like where's the remote control can I play with the remote control so don't worry yourself too much just have fun with it so I went out to the store and I finished up his shopping last weekend and I just had fun with it and I figured I would sit down and share with you guys what we got him for his first Christmas because this is the interwebs I feel like I have to start this video off with the disclaimer some of you may feel like everything that I show you is a lot and I did too much for a nine month old who doesn't really understand what Christmas is um, and others maybe this isn't a lot to you maybe you do way more for your kids or way more for your kids first Christmas or, or whatever have you um, again Everybody is free to do what they want for their family and what's best for them and their family and their budgets. This is what we chose to do for ours. Um, and you know, there's no right or wrong here. This is just us being parents, trying to figure it out like everybody else. I'm gonna start off with clothes because I really don't have a lot of clothes. I figured like relatives and stuff will probably gift him clothes so I didn't go too crazy there. Although he really doesn't have a lot in the next size up. He almost has next to nothing in the next size up. But again, I'm convinced that people will probably give us things and like I like to shop for that stuff anyway. So I didn't think to just do it for Christmas. For starters, I got him some little socks that I will put in his little stocking for Christmas. These are just six to 12 months. All of his socks right now are still zero to three month socks and I'm convinced that that's why it's so easy for him to take them off although I wish these had little grips on them and they don't um, still he just he needed some bigger socks I also picked up these adorable little mittens um, these are Zara but I bought them at Marshall's I think these will probably be a little bit too big for him but I'm still gonna try to shove his little hands in here because they're cute they're just like little deers and they have little pom-poms at the end and my mom bought him a hat and mitten set and I have the hat but I for like a week or so misplaced the mittens just misplaced them and it's funny because before I misplaced them I saw them somewhere and I said hey Mike give me those mittens because if we leave them there we're gonna lose them and he gave them to me and then guess what I did I lost them so I figured it's probably safer to have two pairs of mittens so maybe we'll just keep these in the diaper bag for when we inevitably lose the other pair that actually fits him I was in Walmart shopping for some like odds and ends and like stocking stuffers and stuff for Mike and I came across this little outfit and I never buy him clothes at Walmart really but this was so cute I was like why don't I ever pop in here for for some cute baby clothes it's a little reversible vest and you know guys I've talked about it I love a camo but this is like a camo with trees so it's like really cool um, the shirt underneath is it plain does it have a oh it has a little forest scene with little animals and then it just has like a little pair of like black like fuzzy leggings these actually feel super oh they're fleece on the inside very nice very warm last clothing item I got was this little outfit from H&M and the reason I bought this little outfit is because it legitimately reminds me of David from Schitt's Creek 
love David from Schitt's Creek, my favorite person ever. He's not even a real person. Um, and so I saw this and I picked it up. I was like, Mike, how David is this? And he was like, oh, David, it's perfect. And I was like, you. So we grabbed this, it's got little stars on the knees and I just thought it'd be cute. Stay tuned for the Instagram picture where he's wearing this. And I use a really awesome Schitt's Creek line as the caption. Now I'm just gonna go through some of the smaller stuff. I got this little, like, I don't know, it's just this little bell thing again. I found it in Walmart and um, it was near the gift wrapping stuff. And I just thought this was kind of cute. Josiah really likes like rattles and things that he can shake. He's actually getting good at like following a rhythm when he does it. And I think it's really, really adorable when he does that. So I got him these because I noticed that whenever I'm editing videos and he hears the little bells and in the intro um, music, he gets really excited and he dances. So I figured I'd get him his own little bells to shake. Um, and this was like super, super inexpensive, 198. And like, this will probably be his favorite thing out of everything he gets. I also picked him up a bib from Bella Tono. Um, it's just says cheeks for weeks because you guys have seen Josiah. He legitimately has cheeks for weeks. Um, and he just needed some more of these kind of bibs with this little pocket. I call it a trough um, because he's constantly dropping things. So. I just thought this would be cute. That's more a gift for me than it is for him. Other little things, this little triangle puzzle with like little cars and planes and trains. It has knobs, so it'll be easier for him to pick up. Um, it says over 12 months. Again, for now, he'll probably just try to gnaw on the puzzle pieces and eventually he'll kind of figure it out. Then of course, books. It's actually really hard to get Josiah to sit still for you to read a book, but I put them in his playpen and I do find him like picking them up and flipping through pages by himself. So I like to just have books handy for him to play with. Picked up this one. This is um, a book of animals, all different kinds of animals. Um, we're working on words. We're working on words and he likes animals. So I thought this was a good one. And then this one is a nativity book. I will probably give this to him on Christmas Eve. Um, and then we can read it together on Christmas Eve. Obviously it's the story of the reason for the season. So, all right, now getting into more like the toy stuff, I'm gonna show you the thing that I was like most excited to get him. And it's the first thing that I purchased. How cute is this guys? How cute is it? This is by Manhattan Toy um, and it is a musical llama. Um, and basically it's got like a xylophone on the top. These little things are the little mallets for the xylophone and you can rub them here and it makes like a cool noise and it's got little flip pieces that tell you colors and stuff. I'm a fan of llamas and like alpacas. I have been for years. It's like a weird inside joke thing with me and my, my childhood best friend. Um, and so whenever we see llama things, we get really excited. So Josiah has quite a few llama things already. And when I saw this, I was like, yeah, have to have that. I also picked up these soft building box from Amazon. Um, again, right now, everything just goes in the mouth and becomes like a teether. So I wanted him to have something that he could chew on safely. Um, but could also, you know, I could sit in there and like show him how to build with and stuff. And then not only that, but these have like numbers and letters on them um, and textures for him to do sensory play, but they also have like raised sides um, where they fit into other ones. So it also kind of becomes like a puzzle activity once he's a little bit older and can understand that. I didn't get him too many toys that like light up and make sound um, because they're great for distraction. I don't really think they're that great for teaching kids and, and learning. Um, I think sensory stuff and Montessori style play is better for that kind of thing, like imagination and learning. Um, but I will say the toys that light up and play music and all the things, we have them because they are great distractors. And sometimes as a parent, you need your kid to just be distracted and you just wanna give them one of those and let them like go at it. And so he has a few, sometimes he gets bored with ones that he has. So I did pick him up this. This is a Fisher Price toy um, and it's like a baking toy. So it's a, it's a mixing bowl and then you get, it's got chocolate and little eggs and I don't know, it makes sounds and plays music and stuff as you throw stuff in there. I just thought that this was cute and again, something that could probably hold his attention for a little bit longer. I also picked up this Fisher Price rocket ship. It's basically just like one of those ball poppers. Like when you push it, um, a wheel turns and just pops up the little balls inside. Um, but I like that it's a rocket ship because Josiah's room is like outer space themed. But I just love all like outer space stuff for him. Josiah has always been a fan of bath time, but more recently he's gotten into like playing in the bathtub. He's got little rubber ducks that he likes to like play around with in there. Um, and he no longer sits back 
in his seat. Like I have to really fight him to sit back in his bath seat. He wants to sit forward and like be splashing and playing. And I just think it's so cute. And I think we're about to enter a whole new fun chapter with bath time where it becomes like an extension of playtime. Totally fine with it, love that. I decided that he could probably use like a fun bath time toy. Um, so I found this, I like this brand Green Toys. These are all made um, from recycled plastic, like milk jugs and things like that. So it's really cool. Um, I probably won't give him these little character pieces until he's a little bit bigger um but like the helicopter and the boat he can play with in the tub still no problem i picked up these little go gripper cars so the tops of them are like that kind of ball with like the hole so that makes it easy for them to grab them i think that these are like the retractable cars that you can pull back and they go forward I'm hoping that's what they are because when we play outside the playpen with his trucks on the, like the hardwood floor i like push them across the floor and he goes and chases them and we play that game and it keeps us busy for a while so i thought maybe the cars would be fun for him if they were retractable and then eventually he'd learn to pull them back and let them go himself and then it would remove me from the equation a little bit i also picked up this random squishy ball at target it's funny um because i feel like this is such a weird thing to give a little kid and it says ages five and up but like my mom has one of these this size and a smaller one in her house for when my nephews would come over and play and they've been playing with them since they were like legitimate babies um they just kind of like to hold them and and smush them and so we'll watch him it'll always be supervised to make sure he doesn't like pull any of these off and like eat them but i think like this will be kind of just fun for him to play with then i grabbed this little penguin normally i hate stuffed animals for little kids because like what do they do with them there becomes a certain age where kids like can play imagination and have played games with stuffed animals like when i was little you played school and your your students were your stuffed animals or like whatever um but at josiah's age he doesn't really do anything with stuffed animals but actually lately he has taken interest in the few that he does have and this one rattles so i thought that he would like that because again he likes rattles so um this is just a cute little penguin with some earmuffs on and then the last thing i got him was this wagon um again this is by the brand green toys um and so it's made out of recycled plastics and let me see if i can get the handle out it has a handle on like a cord and so when he starts walking and moving around he can pull it behind him fill it with little toys and like just kind of have an adventure but i figured on christmas i won't wrap this and this will be like from santa and um maybe i'll put like the penguin in it and like a couple of like other small toys like the little cars or something like that and like this will be and i'll just put a bow on it and like this will be his gift from santa and that about wraps everything up that is all the stuff that i picked out for josiah's first christmas i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you needed any last minute shopping inspiration for a kid josiah's age i hope that this video could have helped but again i'm not trying to guide anybody here this is the year that i needed the guidance so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up you can leave any questions or comments for me down below don't forget to subscribe for more videos from us in the future and i will see you guys in the next one. Bye.